part is today we're painting trash. <laughs> you can paint anything you want that you might normally throw away. So today I've got a couple of things that I'm going to paint. I have this pizza cardboard. This is the cardboard that comes on your pizza if you buy a frozen pizza and put it in the oven. I've saved it from the trash and I'm going to be painting it instead. I also have a paper towel and a toilet paper tube. Um, these are the items I'm going to be painting today, but you can paint any piece of trash that you want. A cereal box is a really great example. Some bubble wrap. I'm even going to be putting my paints today on a piece of trash. So this was the top to some Swiffer wet jet pads that we had used up and I'm going to be putting my paints right on this reflective surface because it's um, plastic and the paint won't stick to it. Now any kind of paints will work for this project. If you're using watercolor paints, they will be a bit lighter and they work best on cardboard or paper like materials. I will be using tempera paint and this is that thick paint that we typically use in the art room. You'll also need a variety of brushes, a cup with water, and some paper towels. If you're worried about your clothes, make sure you're wearing an apron. And also make sure you're working on a wipeable surface or a mat. That way you don't make a big mess. Okay guys, let's get started. The first item I'm going to be painting today is the pizza cardboard and it's kind of just like painting on paper but it's brown instead of white. And what I'm going to do is create a mandala just like I did in the drawing last week. Now I've got my paints all set up on my piece of trash as well. And I'm just going to go around and I'm going to paint the mandala like I would if I was drawing it with a pencil, but I'm going to do it with paint. A couple of key things about mandalas is that you want to start with a small center and it could be any shape or tiny picture. And then you want to go around that with another line design or shape and then keep building on that until you get all the way to the edge. Now, when we were drawing mandalas before we were on rectangular paper and now we're using a circle. So it's going to actually all end hopefully at the same place. I'm going to keep painting this and I will fast forward it so you can see what it looks like when it's done. Pizza cardboard circle is totally painted. Look at that. Doesn't that look awesome? And this was going to be put in the recycling bin. It's this great mandala inspired by last week's project. And now this is something you could totally hang up on your wall or your fridge. All right, I'm going to get to painting a cardboard tube now. All right, this is my painted toilet paper tube. Look at how cool this is. I ended up splatter painting on it once I was done. This would look really cool with some yarn put through it and you could wear it as a necklace. You could make a bunch of these and make them decorations maybe on a windowsill. 
Um, I hope you liked painting trash today with me. It was so much fun to use things that we would normally throw away and turn them into art. 